Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance uh, with the genuine hope that I will be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey and investing journey today. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. No fluff for me today. Um, Amazon announces stock, or stock split date ratio and buyback shares. And so we're just going to go through this uh, little article that came out on March 15th about this. I know I'm a little late on it, but, you know, better late than never. And I want to give my input on it. So the news about Amazon stock split is already out as the board of directors of Amazon Incorporated has improved a 20 to 1 stock split of the company's common stock on March 9th, 2022. The stock split and the proportionate authorized share increase are subject to shareholder approval of the amendment at the 2022 uh, annual meeting of shareholders, which is currently scheduled to take place on May 25th, 2022. Each shareholder at the close of business on May 27th, 2022 will have 19 additional shares for every one share held at the such date reflected in their accounts on or about June 3rd of 2022. Trading is expected to begin on the stock split adjusted basis on June 6, 2022. Now there is a buyback of Amazon shares and here's the details for that. In addition to the announcement of the stock split, buyback of shares of Amazon has been announced by the board of directors of Amazon. There will be repurchases of up to $10 billion of the company's common stock. The program allows the company to repurchase its shares opportunistically from time to time when it believes that doing so would enhance long-term shareholder value. The repurchase authorization does not have a fixed expiration. Purchases may be affected through one or more open market transactions, privately negotiated transactions, transactions structured through investment banking institutions and combination of foregoing. This stock repurchase authorization replaces the previous $5 billion stock repurchase authorization approved by the Board of Directors in 2016, under which the company has repurchased $2.2 billion of its shares. Amazon's share price is $2,853 at the making of this article, with the market capitalization, uh, the market capitalization of $1.48 trillion dollars. The stock is listed on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. Amazon shares have fallen nearly 6% in 2022. And so far, while over the last 12 months, the shares fallen down 13%. Amazon share price may witness some strength on the back of the news of the stock split and massive bag back programs. And I believe that we've already seen this a little bit. I believe that Amazon is now at around $3,200 or such. Um, at the recording of this video. Um, so there has been some significant changes since uh, you know they came out and published this article. But what's the significance of a stock split? Um, now, you know, when you're looking at the fundamentals of a stock, any stock that's going through a stock split, nothing actually changes about the stock. But why is it significant? Well, um, at a 20 to 1 stock split, let's say that Amazon on the day of its split is at $3,000 flat. Uh, when you split that up into 20 shares, that means that Amazon would now be $150 per share, which allows for people who couldn't afford the $3,000 share price to go ahead and afford $150 per share of Amazon. This means that there will be a whole bunch of uh, influx of new investors that are able to buy into Amazon um, at that time. And uh, for those who already hold Amazon, you know, you kind of get to multiply your profits over the long term because, you know, not only are you your profits being uh, multiplied by one anymore, but they're now multiplied by 20. So if you have five shares of Amazon before the stock split, you now have 100 shares and you have a hundred times to multiply that uh, that money. So the ten dollars that you make on Amazon after the stock split with those hundred shares is greater than the you know hundred or the a uh, thousand dollars you can make on one share of Amazon 
because you know the more it's multiplied the more uh it increases so for example you know if you have if you're making 50 if you make 50 dollars on each share of amazon you have 500 or uh, you have 100 shares but you've made you know four thousand dollars on one share of amazon you're gonna have a greater uh gain off of the 100 shares that you have than the one share so i'm really excited to see what happens um in my past experience i've been through the tesla split i've been through the apple split and i've also been through the ibm split um, now i get a chance to see the big dogs amazon and google also split um, and it's been a positive uh overall positive experience as far as the splits that I've been through for my own personal gain. Um, IBM is still down, but I believe that's more of a situational thing that's going on with the, the market. Um, there's also the uh, expected split of the AT&T shares, which is really like tanked my AT&T shares. Um, so out of the six splits that I've been, or that I will be going through um, by the end of this summer, um, I would say that I've had like a 70% success rate so far. And I know that over the long term, all of them will be successful because these are all companies that I see being around for another 30 years, which is as long as I need them to be around. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Um, what's what the, you know, the forward movement's going to be. Um, I would love for you guys to go ahead and leave uh, some comments down below and let me know what you think about this Amazon stock split. Um, also, if you want to go ahead and take a moment to go ahead and like and subscribe, that would be helpful. Um, you know, we're on this journey to uh, financial freedom. And, you know, if that's something, a community that you would like to join, please do so, because we're really excited about that. Um, I do want to apologize for my absence. I went through some things, um, but I am back and, you know, I am looking forward to, you know, providing content that you guys want to see. So, with that said, I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.